KwaZulu Natal. We've got an outfit you ne probably never heard of. It's called ACM, Active Citizens Movement, because we've lost faith in the existing political parties. And we've got dozens of people. We've got a, branches in a place like Amshlanga, which is like the heartland of the white community. So I believe in it totally, completely, and utterly. And the people who, the people who taught me are people like Pravin Gordon and a whole lot of others. It was the bedrock of our political organ. So I agree with you entirely. The community organizations are key. And if we don't have that, no government is going to survive or do any good. But thanks for that. I agree with you entirely. Thank you so much, Professor Kovadia. I think this discussion has been a wonderful opening um, for the rest of the evening. And so I just want to hope, before we, you sit down, I just want to um, invite Professor Uta Lehman just to give a vote of thanks. I know it's been a long evening, but you can hear from the very passionate responses how much you've uh, inspired all of us here. <laughs> Covering sort of uh, the facts behind health, interventions, we had students talking about how they didn't understand health systems, and then we have brought them to the value of systems, but also political context and how contested that is. So I feel like we're really at home at UWC here in discussing these issues. So thank you for <coughs> opening that opportunity and that conversation. Let me hand over to Professor Tillegman to give the final vote of thanks, and then we'll finish with dinner. Thank you. I promise I won't say more than 30 seconds worth. So um, I want to thank Professor Kavadia for uh, a lecture that um, allowed, open to discussion that is about very much more than public health, and that's how we like it here, and that's very much also in David's spirit. I'm very glad that David got, gets on these occasions part of what otherwise he, he would not hear at his funeral, so <laughs> <laughs> great advantage over your mother. Um, but also thank David for laying the foundation of a school of public health where 25 years later we are still doing things we are excited about and proud of and so on. Um, so thank you to both the um, gray-haired men, I suppose. <laughs> and of course very much um, we have been thinking, or we are thinking a lot about, so where's the next generation and what the next generation is in our staff, amongst our students, and that is what makes us really excited. It's very nice to have so many young faces here today, including our own students, other students, other colleagues. So thank you very much to you all for coming. Thanks, Anthea Rode, for your um, address as a um, acting dean. And then I want to thank the team behind all these events. Um, we wouldn't be able to do these without them. And again, this week, I in particular want to thank uh, Tamlin Peterson and Kanita Ernest to organize the, both the logistics and the program in ways that were uncomplicated and smooth and led to a really beautiful event. And now, I want to invite you all to come outside for some refreshments well deserved. Thank you.